This is Panoramic RV Episode 11, A Trip to New York with Our Granddaughters. Hi, Steve here. Thank you for joining me on the Panoramic Travels channel where we discuss our travels, whether by RV, cruising, or independent travel. This video covers our fourth major trip in Harvey the RV. Janet and I went to New York with our granddaughters, Ellie, 10 years old, and Callie, eight. So before the big travel day, we filled the propane tank for the first time. Again, we're newbies. I think there's a rule about only filling the tank to about 80% to allow for temperature and pressure changes. So I was in the RV looking at the propane gauge on the Garnet Sea Level 2 monitoring system. It was reading 16% initially, which is why we wanted to fill it. As it was filling, the only numbers that were displayed were 60 and 103. So there was no opportunity to stop at 80%. It's still reading 103. I hope that isn't an issue. We packed all of our clothes in the four cabinets above the bed and we stacked the refrigerator and pantry. We had a few sleeping arrangement options. We had purchased the kabunk, which is basically two cot-like bunk beds that attach to the front seats. So that could have provided sleeping arrangements for both granddaughters, but we had difficulty getting the lower bunk to be flat and comfortable. So we ended up with Kelly on the upper bunk and Ellie on the existing dining room bed. Yes, it was a little bit of a setup and tear down every day, but that's what you have to do when traveling in a 21 foot RV with four people. Our day one goal was to get to Watkins Glen State Park. We had a midday stop at Chautauqua Institution. From their website, Chautauqua Institution is a community of artists, educators, thinkers, faith leaders, and friends dedicated to exploring the best in humanity. It's a beautiful community, and we hope to go back there and spend more time in the future. We saw Dr. Kaboom in the amphitheater. Apple Maps took us to this point, but this isn't where the campground is. It's a few blocks up the main road and then a right hand turn up a steep hill. Routing to the Seneca Lodge will actually get you closer to the campground.
We spent most of day two at the Corning Museum of Glass. There were glass blowing and flame working demonstrations, a hands-on section, a gallery, and of course, the classes we signed the girls up for. We saw the role glasses played in data transmission with fiber optics and data collection with telescopes and microscopes. We saw examples of glass blowing going back thousands of years. Are you ready to see some glass blowing? Yeah. All right, so Michael's got us started. It's one gather of clear glass. Now very soon he's gonna blow a puff of air into the blowpipe. He's gonna cap the mouthpiece with his thumb and that bubble will come out just like that. That concludes our demonstration. <laughs> hope you enjoy it. So he's got a second gather. He wants to immediately start shaping and cooling that gather down. And he's going to use a wood block to begin to do that. Another one of our favorite shaping tools is the local newspaper. So that's about nine sheets of newspaper folded up. So typically how we work is we'll shape the bottom of the vessel first. Then we'll transfer it to a solid iron. And then that'll allow us to finish the top. He's going to introduce some thermal shock to that jaff line that's right next to the blowpipe. Just a drop of water and a light tap to the blowpipe. That comes free just like that. And look at that. You can cut right through the glass if it's hot enough. Pulling that up, give it a cut. Just like that. Beautiful. How about that, folks? That is amazing. Nicely done. So just a little drop of water where that honey meets the bottom of the piece creating a weak point in the glass. There we go. Let me point out to you that there's a big screen on the wall behind me, and that that's gonna be a good place to look when the glass is in the flame. So you can notice already that there's a bright orange glare around the flame as I'm melting that glass. We call that soda flare, because it's a little bit of sodium that's burning away as the glass melts. And the sodium comes from one of the ingredients in glasses called soda ash. The glass that I'm using, which is called borosilicate, melts at 3000 degrees. It's got a higher melting temperature than some other types of glass. And then that is our little dinosaur. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.
Tell us all about your creation here. So it's uh, Santa glass. Okay. Santa, obviously, it's a glass, <laughs> but I put my name on it, so he knows I made it. Very nice. So. And what other kind of things do you have on there that are going to show up? So, I have a reindeer, a dog, I have got some canteens, three dragons, one cat. Beautiful. And I got some snowflakes and fancy. Awesome. We stayed at the Giacomo Hotel. You're probably asking why stay at a hotel when you're traveling in an RV? Because it was actually less money than nearby campsites. It was only half a mile from the falls observation deck. It included breakfast and free secure parking. Okay, next up, Made of the Mist, and let's have some fun with this one. I'm just a guy with an iPhone and a drone. I capture most of my content and edit it all. 
but I'm going to make this look like a multi-camera shoot by splicing video clips I got at other times on the U.S. and Canadian sides of the falls. immense energy to power their machines then spew their waste into the gorge into this world of carnival hucksters and dilapidated mills walks frederick law Olmsted, renowned landscape architect Olmsted is horrified by what he sees and wonders how can something so beautiful be so desecrated the Cave of the Winds was quite a surprise. If we thought we got wet on the Maid of the Mist, it was nothing compared to the Cave of the Winds.
so can the panoramic r v accommodate four people for five days i would say yes as long as two of them are children the could bunk would not be a good option for an adult the company recommends that it's used for people with a weight of one hundred and fifty four pounds or seventy kilograms or less the panoramic r v can probably accommodate four adults for sleeping if one is on the dining room bed and one is in a sleeping bag on the floor it could be done but would not be ideal i don't think i would want to make this same trip with four adults